Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my uh, Outriders build video. In this video, I'd like to share with you my Pyromancer build that can do CT14 slash CT15 uh, and no Golem glitch. Alright, so before I begin with the build, I'd like to let you know that uh, I started playing with the Pyromancer like two or three days ago, so I'm still getting used to the class, and as we voted for the next class to, to make builds on, would be the Pyromancer, so here I am with the first version. I was actually uh, wanted to wait until T, uh, T15 fully, uh, but I actually struggled a lot on T13, T14, and T15 on uh, Ways of Honor. I had to run in circles to actually... and Man, it, it was crazy. Uh, the thing is, my main character is the Devastator Bleed build, uh, also an Anomaly, and this is Anomaly as well. But that guy, he can take a lot of damage and do all the blasts and do all the magic and heal himself and pretty much not die. Uh, when it comes to this guy, well, this guy is the exact opposite. <laughs> he can't take hits, but he can do a tremendous amount of damage, like crazy. I won't even want to call this build a like KOBK, kill or be killed. Because without, I mean, now that I've personally experienced the Pyromancer class myself, and uh, I feel it, uh, I feel the pain, like one, two shot and you're dead. Uh, no wonder people are using that Golem glitch. Uh, but I am trying to build like builds without those that sort of stuff and see, because, you know, they will become useless as soon as that Golem glitch is going to be fixed, and that's going to be at any time soon, I believe, as far as I heard. So most of the it won't work because I gave it a try and like from barely surviving I became a god I'm like hey I'll know I'm not gonna miss mess up my timings turn that thing off but yeah you're gonna ask like two or three days how the hell did you get t15 well there's a way how you can tr uh, transfer resources from one character to another so I'll have that link down uh, in the comments like pinned so I've transferred the resources and I've been using my main to upgrade my gear so the pods everything was not a problem that's why I don't have a lot of these things uh, done complete anyway now let's get on with the build I've explained it pretty much everything if you're still watching it means you're interested <laughs> to find out what I've what I've came up with alright so first of all I really struggled with the weapons and I decided the best well the thing is when you're running around right trying to survive trying not to get hit dodging all the time it's very hard to actually shoot because at start I was using a weapon that would inflict burn or an ash uh, but with all these dodging and stuff like that switching weapons <laughs> he, he don't have time to shoot man uh, so I decided to use the same strategy as I've used with the devastator is using moaning winds right but here's another thing uh, first of all it's not as effective as it is on the Devastator because the Devastator is a lot more tankier so he can go into a big pile of dudes and just blow things up well this guy is the exact opposite he can't take a lot of damage so you, you, you're risking it for a biscuit to get into a pile of dudes and you know make up an explosion <laughs> it, it's uh, so over here as on the bleed build Devastator I, this is my second main damage dealer over here is also sort of my second main damage dealer but is more of a defensive so if if I get any of those guys coming at, at me then I blast and even if the minor ones or anybody uh, with a devastator I use it only on the leads with this guy I use it with the enemies and I try to use it with leads because with leads my main damage dealer is eruption I'll get to that in a second so yeah um, and once again, my main gun is pistols. <laughs> Fortress uh, benefits 43% bonus damage uh, to whatever I do. That includes my skills, which makes it, which makes my skills even more deadlier. Uh, mowing winds one and mowing winds two, plus the radiational splash, which does additional explosion da damage while reloading, but also inflicts vul vulnerable. Uh, that. Uh, makes me deal even 25% more damage uh, for like 10 seconds I think yeah 10 seconds I'm pretty sure that's 10 seconds so and once again that's 25% from all sources skills weapons and so on and so forth 
So yeah, um, these are my weapons. I, I hope you understand how all this works. If not, just check out my Devastator Bleed build, the third version, and uh, uh, you'll be pretty much surprised. And for example, like with my uh, Devastator, I can do 1.2 slash 1.5 million damage with one blast. But this dude, at the moment, I can do 300, and maximum I think I saw was 800. But the thing is, I don't think I will be able to scale it to those millions as well. Uh, the reason is, with the Devastator you got the Bleed command Seismic Commando which gives 50% blast to bleed. Then you have a mod which gives 25% blast to bleed. Then you have another mod which there's 15% <laughs> damage against the bleed. And they all scale. Over here is another story. So, you, I, like, my main thing is Ash, not f Fire. and. I don't see a way how I can collab these things because the amount of mods uh, for the actual skills is tremendous. Well, I don't know. We'll see what I'm going to come up with in uh, uh, version 2. Well, in version 2, I'll definitely have a set. I'm, right now, I'm aiming for uh, this set, Lava Leech. So that's the first set I'm going to try to rock in with. There's another one I'm looking at uh, which has to do with fire. Uh, but at the moment, this is what I like, because that eruption is crazy. When I first got it, well, when I saw it, man, I was like, <laughs> But then it's like, I use the, what? And it actually, like, takes uh, the benefit from the status uh, status power, right? So I want to replace my gloves and my, and my boots to uh, anomaly damage and not health. Uh, max health, right? Uh, because all of my others, they got the same anomaly, cooldown. Uh, oh shoot! Ow! Oh, I missed this one, cockroach. And I can, yeah, this is I got here anomaly, uh, cooldown reduction, status power. All oh, good, man. How the hell did I do that? And I don't have. Um, I'm gonna have to check my stash. I'm pretty much, I might have something. So, because I've been buying a lot of stuff with my ma with my main and like saving them because I really like anomaly builds. So uh, for the mods, I have also stolen this legendary helmet from my Devastator. Uh, basically, what it does it increases my anomaly power by 20k for six seconds if I initiate critical shot, which pistols tend to do a pretty good job on that. Ash uh, Ash and boost uh, boost my damage against enemies afflicted with Ash uh, by 20%. So once again, whatever damage I'm doing, it's increased by 20%, which is very nice. Uh, eruption increases the skill radius. This is, like, as I said, Eruption is my only attacking skill. The other two skills are more defensive. Uh, I'll explain once I get to the skills. So, um, this 100% is a must. Like, a must must. <laughs> Otherwise, you you won't be killing those little cockroaches who are running around, man. Or the guys with rifles, you know, the weak ones. Uh, this is a must must. And increases the lava's damage over time by 32k with the status effects, uh, status power, as far I understand, understood. It actually collapses and makes that fire even more damage. Uh, you'll see the eruption skill in action, and you'll see just that health just melting. It's just poof, vanish. Although, man, it's lava and stuff like that. Why doesn't it also inflict burn? I would put a. Um, like mods that uh, give more damage with burn. I mean, it's lava. In return, I can only ash, do ash only with the mod, which is kind of stupid. Alright, anomaly, cool reduction, life leech uh, throws damaging derbis at enemies dealing additional uh, 38k uh, damage that scales off the anomaly power. Because uh, once I'm done, I'm, I'm taking a look at the damage uh, results, and this thing ain't doing a lot, so I might even gonna change it. So might not, not even gonna use it in the next one. Damage absorber, that's my only defensive skill. Uh, increases armor by 52k and resistance by 10k. Without this, trust me, man, it's freaking possible. If this guy dies, like you at least need this thing to survive to not get one shot at. Cause I, I was like shocked when I got like to tier 13, tier 14. Uh, I was shocked. <laughs> I was like, dude, thank God I played Devastator. I'll most probably rage quit this game. <laughs> uh, well, nah. I, I like challenge, so this is good. 
Alright, so Lava Leech Gloves, uh, skill can be triggered one more time, and Pompeii, uh, skill can be triggered one more time. So I can do it three times. Uh, circle, circle of Power boosts your resistance by 15% every time you use a skill, which can stack three times and kind of like ends in seven seconds. Ah, the terror is every seven seconds. Oh, I th oh, that's why it was uh, that shield was lasting. I can now. I couldn't understand why it's lasting so long. So it probably like removes the first stack, the second stack. Actually, I'm gonna test that out right now together. And volcanic dust uh, inflicts ash on enemies within five meter radius of <clears throat> targeted enemy. This is also a must because. Oh, sorry. All right, I got my voice back. So, as I was saying, this is a must because Ash it immobilizes the enemy. And uh, if you don't have this mod on, uh, the eruption takes place. The fire. Uh, here, let me demonstrate that. And by the way, uh, you should see. You should see a shield appearing. That's going to be my resistance. Don't confuse it with the Golem Glitch. So, oh, I can't do it without an enemy. Damn it! <laughs> All right. I'll show you then, and you'll see it in the game then. Oh wait, idiot! There is a thing like that. You see that explosion, and that fire goes. If it doesn't immobilize the elite enemy who has got a lot of HP, you can simply just walk away, and all that damage is going to waste. So if you apply Ash, uh, and it applies on him because there's uh, a skill that the end that the elite can use that he kind of like uh, does not get immobilized he's like immune to that uh, then that's when he's like kind of like glowing bluish with thunder all over his body then in that case he will not get the ash status so you'll need to be very careful with when you're using it but uh, the logic is it deals a tremendous amount of damage and if you apply ash he gets stuck and while that eruption takes place he still takes the damage all right, so over here I've explained. Let's get to the skills. I'm gonna start from the left. So Ash Blast immobilize uh, basically converts all the guys into Ash statues, <laughs> and uh, thanks to my mod, I do more damage to those guys. Plus, it kind of like a more defensive style. I can move away, or if I'm planning to advance uh, and do my uh, moaning wins, I use this first, and only then I run into the group and run back out. Let's just run in and, r and out. <laughs> Kill or be killed, man. <laughs> so defensive and sometimes offensive. Uh, feed the flames, uh, my healing ability. So when everything is bad, I don't have my eruption, I don't have my ash blast. This is my final kind of like stand. <laughs> I use it and I get the hell out of there until something uh, refreshes. So I can use skills again because this guy heals when he deals uh, damage um, to targeted enemies by the way who uh, marked enemies marked enemies is when you hit them you'll see this uh, this skull with the green cross as a pioneer so you will receive health whenever uh, enemies marked by your skills are killed so yeah which kind of sucks <laughs> okay so last stand heal it don't it doesn't even deal damage this thing either do, doesn't deal damage and this is my main damage uh, dealer creates a volcanic eruption uh, dealing uh, 92k damage to all enemies with a small radius target the eruption swarms lava dealing damage over time with a small area uh, with the mod included it deals actually a good amount of damage so 100% that mod is just a must as well so and I think it benefits from the uh, sta uh, status power because I see this the set has status power status power and I'm thinking okay status power like benefits like fire toxic bleed uh, you know those 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 sort of stuff but this build it don't do fire uh, it do, like it, it can't it doesn't place fire or stuff like that so I, I believe it benefit that volcanic eruption benefits from the status power the same goes for phaser beam I don't really like this skill because it's so slow and you can get killed just by while you're trying to go so you can <laughs> But maybe if I'll find some good mods, maybe it will be good. But at the moment, that's not the case. All right, and my class, here we go. So this is a 
everything I've got. I'll show you the big trains cooldowns reduced by 10%, uh, increased damage by 20% against enemies below 30% health, uh, increase anomaly by 12% for 10 seconds after using explosive skills, which kind of sucks. I was hoping it going to be bigger, more than 12%, but still. Phoenix, because I'm tired of dying, <laughs> if I do a silly mistake, this is just one skill point into this thing I think is a must. Although if you put one more over here, uh, oh the cooldown is reduced. But what am I willing to sacrifice? Hmm. I'll think about it. Th that sounds juicy. I thought it was just max health. Oh, okay. Uh, damage against elites. Uh, increase base damage of, this, of explosives. In reduction, reduction into explosives is a must, must for me. And reduce uh, elite damage against you by 10%. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, now we're gonna go and do a T15 expedition. I'm not sure that I'm gonna be able to do it. I did it on T14, but if you compare the time, uh, where is the front line? T14, 1016. I did it. And the requirement is about 11 seconds, uh, 11 minutes 44. So I might gonna be able to do it, but I'm definitely able to do th this one. But running around in circles on the final stage and blasting that volcano thing—that's how I did it. <laughs> uh, but essentially, if you have a set, you should be able to do it with no problem. So if you have a, a set that gives you additional damage, that'll be really nice. Like for example. If I would have had at least one more piece, I would have benefited my eruption by 40%, so increased damage by 40%, which is insane, and decreases its cooldown by 10%. So if I would already have one of those, I am pretty sure I will be able to run a lot more T15s. So that's why I called this one CT14 slash CT15. And by the way, this is pretty much identical build that I've used in the main storyline and all the way up. Well, apart from those legendary parts, legendary uh, gear, I had uh, same uh, anomaly status and reduction. All right, wish me luck. This is gonna be interesting. I'm definitely not gonna be able to comment while while running this because uh, I'm gonna be focusing on not to die. <laughs> Let's go. So yeah, as always, I am up unloading the clip my shotguns because this guy all he has is to switch the guns and put it back to pistols. I tried using other mods which were pretty cool but this is the only one and by the way uh, I'm gonna come in uh, at the very start because remember we wanted to test something out you'll see the new shield don't confuse it with a golem glitch. <laughs> so right now I'm gonna blast and you'll see the shield while we boom that's my resistance shield. Alright and then you can see this thing is powerful, Ash takes place, everything is good. Let's go, wish me luck, I hope I ain't gonna die.
Okay, I messed up here real bad. I'm not gonna do gold, I'm pretty sure. I didn't manage to group them up. Damn it. Yeah, another thing that I forgot to mention, snipers on, on this character is a deadly thing. <laughs> they kill you, man. Artillery support incoming! Uh, I'm not gonna get gold. I can see it by the time. Damn it.
Actually, I did not that bad. I thought I was gonna fail, to be honest. Well, that freak it's I not bad. Time. If I only had that Dude, full set, I could have done this on gold. Am I gonna have to dig you out of the rubble again? Not this time. Please. Is last. Come on. The pod's ours. Come on, man. <laughs> I lost count of how many expeditions I did. Can you explain to me Please. why that pod didn't land with the rest of them? Maybe it got stuck in the tube. RNG tube. God, bless or me. Maybe it just wanted to fuck with us. Ah, just one legendary, and it is <laughs> Icarus, <laughs> son of a dog. <laughs> Come on. Sometimes I hate this game. Real bad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright folks, thanks all for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you didn't you know the drill, don't forget to hit that like, comment down below, please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube, nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond to them, so if you got something to say, feel free to comment, the only thing uh, I ask of you is, uh, don't swear, positive negative feedback, always welcome, and if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan, I'm Gamer Z, Soul from Ukraine, so I from Ukraine, might want to check out our Discord, we're over 800 members over there, mainly it's Fallout 76, uh, but we also have in other games a section, if you select that role, you will have access to the Outriders chat, I'm still thinking whether I should create uh, sub subcategory uh, ch chats for in our Discord for Outriders as well, uh, but yeah, I think when we grow some more members over there and Outriders, then most probably I am going to do it. But anyway, uh, all other links that you may find of use down in the video description. I'll see you all later. Bye.